Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I've been testing out the new laptop from Huawei, the MateBook X Pro, and I've been very happy with the amount of things I actually am enjoying about this laptop. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video talking about my top five favorite things about Huawei's latest Ultrabook. The first thing I wanna start with is the portability of it. It's extremely thin, extremely light, and easy to carry around. I, I'm even able to walk from my room here into the family room while using it because I can just hold it with one hand like so. Go ahead and use it, type in like that, just because it is actually so light. It is an Ultrabook after all, but I'm specifically mentioning its portability because it essentially has the size of around a 13 inch Ultrabook. However, it has a 14 inch display, a 13 inch display Ultrabook as opposed to this one having a 14 inch display. Very easy to segue into the next part, and that would be the display itself. It is a 3K display, 3000 by 2000 screen resolution, 100% sRGB color gamut, 450 nits brightness, 1500 to 1 contrast ratio as in specs, and overall it really, really does pop. All the colors are great, uh, the contrast ratio is great. It is a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, so a little bit different than you might be used to when you watch a 16-9 video. You're going to get some bars on the top and bottom, however... When you're potentially reading an article, anything like that, you're going to get a lot more content on your display from the top to the bottom. Another nice feature about the display is that it is a touch screen, so you don't just have to use the trackpad. You can go ahead and potentially get a pen input, or you can just use your finger and touch away. Next, I'm really loving the design overall, especially that screen to bezel ratio. So minimal, it's crazy. And how did they accomplish that? by actually adding the camera right there with a physical button to activate that camera. So it is down at the bottom, which might be a downside to some. It, some people might not care. So that's kind of up to you. But overall, I love the aesthetics of the display when looking at it with those minimal bezels. Also fantastic that they not only include two USB Type-C slots, but made it easier tra to transition to Type-C with including a USB Type-A slot on the right side. So next up, something that seems very obvious, but I believe Huawei is just about the only one doing it right now, and that is integrating their fingerprint sensor into the power button in a very unique way, and it makes it very handy and quick. So I'm gonna put the laptop to sleep. There I am in the reflection, but what it does is it reads my fingerprint as I press the button. So whether I'm turning on the laptop or waking it from sleep as I have, I have a lock on it, but watch, I just quickly tap on it. I really didn't rest it on there that long, anywhere out of the ordinary, and it signed me in right away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you without using a different finger. So I'm gonna put it back to sleep and notice how quick that actually woke back up. So now once it goes to sleep, I'm going to use a different finger that I didn't register and it should go ahead and turn on. It says we're having trouble recognizing you. Now when I go ahead and set this finger on, hello, signs right in. Next up is that of performance. The MateBook X Pro has an 8 Gen i7, 16 gigs of RAM, even two gigs of a dedicated MX150 graphics card. And to really test that out, I actually plugged it in via USB Type-C to my BenQ 4K monitor and it powers it just fine. And it has a dual monitor set up. There I have Chrome open on one and I can load up Chrome on another if I wanna load up a web page. It runs just fine. Everything is very fluid, very quick. So if you are someone that needs that dual monitor setup, you can use up to a 4K monitor. And I actually want to jump into display settings. Let me actually drag it over here. And you'll notice if I go to the second display, it is in 3840 by 2160 resolution. So as you can tell, it is actually being powered in 4K. And believe it or not, a big question that I got asked after my unboxing video was, can this device run Fortnite? And the answer is actually yes, it can. Now don't expect amazing performance out of it. I had to bump down all the settings to the bare minimum and I get actually around 60 frames per second. It, uh, I do get frame rates dropping occasionally, maybe down to 45 when things get really crazy and hectic, but it is doable and you can actually get through a game. And I know I've been talking about how slim and portable this laptop is, and surprisingly enough, the next feature is that of the speakers. With the size and everything in mind, the speakers are very good quality and also get really loud. Huawei's partnered with Dolby for a quad speaker system. You got sound coming right at you. And just to give you an idea of how loud and the quality of it, here's just a quick little audio sample, really nothing crazy, but I wanted to go ahead and talk over the sound so you can kind of get an idea of how loud it gets. I'm gonna to continue to turn it up. This is just at 50% uh, right now to give you an idea. Now I'm gonna go all the way up 
and it gets pretty loud. I'm gonna to continue to talk at the same pay, uh, same volume, and you'll see it gets just really loud, really full and rich, and I've been extremely impressed with these speakers. I've never really needed to actually turn it all the way up simply because they get so loud. And of course, here's just one more song. We could go ahead and test it out when it hits uh, the drop here. It's a different style of music, and here it is all the way up. Really solid quality, so these are just all the reasons why I find this as one of the top features on such a small and slim Ultrabook. So that's just about it on the new Huawei MateBook X Pro. More to come, including a full review, so be sure to click that subscribe button. And of course, more videos to come in general, so stay tuned for those. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.